Hey there everyone, welcome to Ending with Preetam. In this video of AutoCAD Complete Course Series, we're going to talk about two tools that are commonly used inside AutoCAD. Those are Polar Tracking and Ortho Mode. We will go in depth and cover all the variants and complete customization of both these tools. If you also want to see what we have covered so far, then I'm going to put the complete playlist in the description of this video. From there, you can check out our complete playlist on AutoCAD, which is completely free. Now let's get back to our topic and start with ortho mode. Okay, so here you can see I already have started AutoCAD and um, we are in our default interface. Now I'm going to click here on new, which will basically start new file. And then if I talk about ortho mode, here you can find this ortho mode. So as the name suggests, this mode enable you to draw line either horizontally or vertically. You can also realize this by seeing the symbol of ortho mode. Now since I have enabled this ortho mode, now let me quickly select this line tool. And now if I try to draw it, let's say at certain angle, then I may not be able to do that because we have enabled ortho mode so either you can go horizontally or you can go vertically so these are only two options inside ortho mode now what if let's say we want to plot a line at certain angle in that scenario i would say polar tracking comes handy it is i would say advanced version of ortho mode that not only allow you to you know trace line horizontally or vertically but at certain angle for example um let me actually click on this polar tracking and as soon as we clicked on polar tracking here we can see the ortho mode automatically turned off the reason being is you can only enable one thing at a time now let me click here on this arrow so here you can see by default my polar tracking is enabled for these angles which is 90 degree 180 degree 270 and 360 so let me quickly draw a line um, so here you can see I am getting polar tracking at 0 degree similarly I am also getting at 90 degree so just like ortho mode it also help us to draw a perfect 90 degree line or the line at that particular angle which this polar tracking support so currently it is supporting 0, 90 degree, 180 degree and 270 degree. Now let's enable this one which is 30, 60, 90 and 120. Now if I start again tracing this line, now here you can see I am getting this polar tracking at 30 degree, at 60 degree, at 90 degree or I would say at every 30 degree step. So it is really useful, I would say, when, you know, we are dynamically creating a line and we want to trace that line at certain angle. Now, let's talk about how we can further customize it. For that, again, we need to click here on this lower triangle and then we can click on tracking setting. Now here we can define increment angle. So here we can see it is 30 degree which means that the polar tracking will be enabled at every 30 degree angle. So this means that this will cover 30 into 1, 30 degree, then 30 into 2, 60, 90, 120, 150 and so on. But let's say I also want to have a tracking at, um, for example, 23 degree. And now if I click OK, then if I try to plot a new line, I will able to get tracking at 23 degree. So in this way guys, we can also enable polar tracking at custom angle or custom degree. Now let's talk about one more feature inside polar tracking, which is absolute polar tracking or relative polar tracking. So by default, it is absolute polar tracking. And if I again click here on this lower triangle and then we can click on tracking setting. Here we also have got this relative to last segment. So if I click on this one and click OK. Now let's say if I plot another line here. So I should get polar tracking at 46 degree as well. And here we go. Here we can see it says relative polar and then it is showing us a displacement and then it is showing angle of 23 degree. Although it is not 23 degree, but 
since we have enabled the relative mode not the absolute measurement system that is why we were able to see polar tracking which have considered this angle as zero degree so that's all about polar tracking and ortho mode inside autocad i hope guys you find this video helpful and informational if yes then do like and subscribe to this channel for more such video and to follow complete autocad course and i will see you soon in my next video till then you take care and bye bye